What's up guys, it's Catalyst here and welcome back to another mod spotlight. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Security Craft mod. Now it's a pretty awesome mod. It has loads of really cool features, mainly based around keeping your base safe. So um, we're going to start off with the basic blocks and then we'll get to some more complicated things like this and that and these. So um, let's get started right. Now the first thing is that we have the basic devices, and, well not devices, we have the basic blocks. Now we have a reinforced iron door, which is just like a regular iron door except from unbreakable. Um, now you surround that an iron door in iron in a crafting table and that will give you the reinforced iron door. Now um, that can be opened or closed through redstone current. Now the next thing we have is an iron trapdoor, similar to a regular trapdoor except from that can be only opened with a redstone current and is unbreakable. Okay, now we also have reinforced stone, which is uh, four cobblestone around a piece of stone, and reinforced iron bars, which is four iron around an iron bar. Okay, so those are the basic blocks. Now, as you can see, I've sort of made this base out of it. Now, there is one thing that I'll mention, that you can break the blocks eventually, um, well, if you own the blocks, and I'll get around to showing that later. Okay, so we also have a numpad, and we have these various devices which allow you to do cool things. So I'll go for the recipe. Now, a keypad is pretty easy to make. It's just eight uh, no, nine buttons, like so, and that'll give you the keypad. Now, the keypad is pretty cool because it allows you to set a code. Now, um, as you can see, once you first go into this, it'll give you a keypad setup. Now, you can set a code. I'm just going to do one, two, three, and you save and continue. And then the next time that you enter, one, two, three, the door will open and allow you to go in. So that's a pretty cool device. Okay, so the next device is also pretty cool. Now, um, this is a key card reader. Now, basically what it allows you to do is to um, open the door, depending on what level of card you can get, and you can set up all sorts of cool things with that. So um, to craft that, you just put eight stone around a hopper. Now we have the level one security card. We have uh, level two and level three. So to craft the level one, it's just gold and iron. To craft the level two, it's bricks and iron and... Um, you have to craft level 3, it's nether bricks and iron, so pretty simple recipes. Now, you have level 3, which is the maximum, so if you set it as level 3, you won't be able to get in with anything except the level 3. If we set it on level 1, um, you won't be able to, you'll be able to access it with every other key card as well, and if you set it at level 2, it won't be, it'll be able to access by 3, uh, then 2 or higher. So, let's set it on, uh, let's set it on 2, right, okay, so, it can open with a 2, it can, when it closes again, it can open with a 3, but however, if you uh, give it, if you try it with a 1, it'll say you've got low clearance, so it won't allow you to get in. So that's a pretty cool feature if you want, if you have many people in your base and you kind of want to let some in some rooms, some in others, um, it's pretty helpful. Now the next thing I think is my favourite device that we have in this, um, is a retina scanner. Now, basically what this allows you to do, well it's kind of obvious, it lets one person, if you put your face to it, open the door. Um, so how you craft that is just stone around an ender eye and it makes that retina scanner. So I think I've got it set as myself for now, uh, so if I go up to it, it will open the door and it'll say hello cam 407 Now the one thing that is a problem with this is you, can, you can't like set multiple people on it, so you, it's only for like you, so maybe like your private door or whatever. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. The next thing I've got to show you is this cool laser thing. Now basically what they allow you to do is to almost set up a perimeter fence. Now. I'll just quickly show how to craft these. Now to craft these, it's fairly simple, just stone around there, a redstone block in the middle, and a glass pane, and it crafts one of these. Now, the cool thing about these is you could set them all up to um, kind of connect to each other. Now, if I say walk into here, it will set up an alarm. These alarms are at the top, and they will keep going for a while. Uh, yes, yeah, so these alarms are set up at the top, and um, they any, if you have them directly either connected to a redstone current next to it and then having an alarm or having it directly on it, it'll work either way. Now, um, as you can see, it'd be cool to have a defence of maybe protecting something valuable, maybe not a vase, but we just kind of wanted the kind of museum look and that sheep's trying to, um, just trying to go in there, trying to steal that vase. But anyway, so um, yeah, that is the awesome lasers. They are pretty cool. Now, I'm quickly going to show you how, guys how to set them up. So let's grab, uh, let's grab four actually. So if you say want to have a perimeter thing, you can have one, and I think there is a maximum, so I think the maximum is probably that. Um, let's try one more. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it won't work if you have too many in a row. So if we have the maximum size, which I think is that, yeah, and then we have another one here. Oh, okay, it's connecting to that one. Now I think it'll just connect to the closest one, there we go, and here. Okay, so that's how you pretty much set, set a pro perimeter, and then you put an alarm on top if you wanted it to have go, if you wanted it to go off. So it's pretty cool for a proximity kind of defense thing. 
Okay, now the next thing I'm going to show you is this cool little item scanner. Now basically what that does is it allows you to um, have prohibited items and if you go for it, it'll emit a redstone um, signal. So if I get a sword, for example, so you don't want people with swords coming into your base, you can put it there. And it, when I walk through, it will emit a redstone signal. So let's just uh, have a go through that. Now, I've also set it up so it's got a re uh, release of redstone current and pushes pistons into you. So let's grab one of those, put, our, put it in our inventory and go. And as you can see, the alarm is going off and it will not allow, allow us back out until we check that away. And hopefully, there we go, and it closes. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now, how you craft this is it's just um, stone like so, a laser block in the middle and um, ender chest. So, um, and then for the alarms, it's just glass around the edge and redstone there and a note block in the middle. So it's a pretty, pretty simple crafting recipes um, for such cool things. Now, uh, I do love the little red laser, but another setting on this is you can have it so it uh, checks inventory and it will delete it if someone walks through with a sword. So say I go, okay, I'm going to walk through. Oh, my sword's gone. So that's just a way of completely um, protecting your base. So it's a pretty awesome device. Okay, so the next thing we're going to show you is some smaller devices. Now we have a couple of things in here. So we have the universal block remover, which is very helpful. Um, basically what that allows you to do is it removes your blocks that you place. It doesn't remove other people's blocks, but only your own. So to craft that, it's just two pieces of iron and a shear. So let's give that a go. So if you say walk up to a wall, you can just instant destroy all the blocks that you, well not all the blocks but you can instantly destroy blocks that you've placed which is quite helpful uh, since you're not just stuck there with a block that you placed down in the wrong place it's stuck there forever okay now the next thing we're going to show is uh, the code breaker now that is it's very expensive so we have um, a redstone torch there two diamonds on either side and we have a nether star in the middle uh, with two gold either side and then we have an emerald and two redstone so it's rather expensive but you'll understand why it's so expensive in a second now this basically allows you to unlock anything that's got a code on it so if we go up to a keypad that's locked it will just open it straight away and allow you through so it's, it can be pretty overpowered but it is very expensive okay so the next thing um yeah, so, oh, the next thing I'll show you is that it doesn't actually open these things. So it won't open a retina scanner, if I can get close enough without it opening anyway. And it won't open a um, card reader. So those are the two things that it won't do. Okay, so the um, next little of things I've got to show you is these pretty cool things. Now, what you can do is you can craft fake buckets of lava and fake buckets of water. And what they do is it does the complete opposite. So, um, potion of harming uh, and water bucket will make the uh, fake water and basically as it's a potion of harming it will harm you very very quickly and lava on the other hand will not harm you at all and will be perfectly fine so uh, i've got a fake block of lava here and a fake block of water now what we're going to do is this only works on players so if i say walk into this lava it may look like i'm damaging myself but i'm not so this would be a cool secret entrance if someone's watching you is walk into lava they're thinking what the hell is he doing it still looks like he's taking damage but um, yeah, yeah, not, which is pretty cool. Now the next thing that you could do is you could have some water. So you could have like a water doorway and a lava doorway. You take the lava, they take the water, and this happens. Out, that's very loud, but your health drains instantly. So those are the fake buckets of water and lava. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is um, these cool code uh, locked chests. Now to craft those, uh, it's just iron round there with iron block at the top and um, a chest in the middle. So pretty simple recipe. Uh, now the password chest well, would do what you think. Uh, you put a code in like the um, like the locked locking mechanism for the door. Uh, so you have a code, I'm just going to put 123 again, put 123 and the chest will open and allow you to put stuff in. Now you can also have the same thing with a double chest, so let's set the same password. There we go, 123 and that will open a double chest. Now, um, so yeah, these are the pretty cool things, so if you want to keep your stuff locked. Now these are also unbreakable, so if someone can't walk in, just break it and grab all your stuff as well. So you may think that the uh, keypads and the retinal scanners and the laser blocks are enough to keep your base safe. Well, this mod also adds some rather cool explosives and mines to keep your base, hello cow, to keep your base safe as well. Now, there's a, a thing here, but I can't remember what the password I put for this. Uh, I think my friend made this, and it's probably something along the lines of... Of course it is. Right, so um, let's get into uh, looking at some of the explosives. Now, here are all the explosives that you have. You have a regular mine, you have a bouncing Betty, 
uh, you have a cobblestone mine, a diamond ore mine, a sand mine, a dirt mine, and a furnace mine, and a stone mine, and a track mine. And basically, the regular mine is just a regular mine. A bouncy betty will bounce up in the air and explode a couple of times. It's quite cool. And the cobblestone, uh, you know, on all these block things are made for kind of disguises. So you put a bit of diamond ore down and they think, oh, lovely. And then they get blown up. So let's have a quick check on some of these. Now these are pretty cool. Now actually let's go into the recipes first. Okay, so to uh, make the regular mine, it's just three iron like that and gunpowder there. And to make the bouncing Betty, it is just um, <clears throat> two iron on either side of the gunpowder and then a weighted breastplate on top. Now to make the disguised mines, you need just a mine and the block you're going to disguise as. Now as a, it doesn't work for everything, we, I think we have the diamond one up here. Yeah, so it doesn't work for everything, every block in the game, it only works for these specific ones but it's pretty simple recipes and easy to remember okay so let's have a quick uh look at the <coughs> cobblestone mines right actually i'm gonna move i was gonna move that a bit but as you can see that is quite a big explosion and all you need to do is walk into the vicinity of it to explode it so say you just had like a oh better not touch that that's redstone uh say you just had a wall here and you thought oh I have a doorway in the middle someone comes along tries to walk through Say you had a bit of cobblestone underneath as well, so it tries to walk through. Boom! Okay, so they're pretty cool. You could set up some pretty awesome traps in there, and I didn't mean to blow that up, but oh well. Uh, now the next thing, actually let's grab a bouncing Betty out as well. Okay, let's chuck those into um, my inventory. Right, so we also have a little testing area for this. I don't think it's actually going to protect anything, so let's have a look at that. Now, uh, what was it? Okay, so we've got a device called a mine remote access tool and that costs gold uh, There diamond there redstone torch on top and the stick on the bottom left So this is a pretty cool device. What it allows you to do is it allows you to select a mine so if we uh, Don't get too close, but we right click on that now it binds it to a mine now if we right click oh if we Oh, there we go. Right, if we uh, right click on the tool, activate. Now it will show you all the mines we found. Since we've only found one, we can do that and we can and we can click it. Now we also have stuff like, um, you can deactivate it. So say you want some mines in a certain area not to be activated, you can just deactivate it. Uh, so we've deactivated the mine, now it's gonna be turned off. And you can see that through the little green thing. Now, uh, we can also activate it or just detonate it straight away. So if we activate the mine, that means if anyone walks around it, it'll blow up. Uh, but if we just detonate it, bang. Oh, it did actually protect it, that's surprising. Uh, so actually, let's show off the Bouncing Betty as well while we're at it. So let's connect that to, um, ooh. Oh, maybe you can't connect those. Maybe it's just the basic mines that you can connect. So um, if we say, just walk near it, let's drop on top of it. So that'll jump in the air and then explode. So it goes a bit into the air. It's quite a little cool feature. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is the um, track mine. Now this is pretty cool if you want to have kind of like a minecart trail all the way along just to blow someone up at the end. Now we have kind of have this um, really overcomplicated setup for what we need to show. So we have a lever here, hopefully. This should set off the minecart at the top there. It should go down and where the glowstone arrow is, is the track mine and boom. So that would be quite a cool way just to say, oh yeah, do you wanna, do you wanna ride my new roller coaster? And then just have it blow up in their face. So that'd be pretty cool. Now the next thing that we're going to show you is um, the, well, another thing with the uh, remote access tool. Now we've set up three different mines over there. So you'll be able to set them off one by one. So say you see someone near one and you just decide to blow it up, then that would be, um, yes, this is how you do it. So we have separate mines activated to each of these. So if we want to blow up in order, uh, just for a grand finale, let's see if we can do this. I want to kind of have it in view. So one, activate, oh wait, we want detonate, don't we, of course. Uh, so let's do this, detonate, bang, and number two should be over, oh, okay, uh, detonate over there, and number three, boom. So yeah, the, I, I really do enjoy this mod, I think it's rather cool the way that they've not only added these invincible blocks and these awesome ways to defend your base, but they've also added these mines and they've gone into quite a lot of detail with it, so I really do enjoy this mod. I hope you guys have enjoyed this mod spotlight. It's been pretty cool for me. I've enjoyed looking into this mod. So um, if you guys want to download it, I will put a link in the description below. And um, remember to like and subscribe if you're not already. And um, remember, if you want to mention any mods that you want me to do a video on, then um, feel free. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.